Hey, 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 what's up, 80s, 90s, and 2000 Vibes family? I'm here. It's Friday. Friday! I am your host for this evening. Um, they call me Lee Boy, Leon Lee Boy Frierson. I'm one of the new hosts of the 80s, 90s, 2000 and Vibes podcast. If you haven't heard, make sure you go tap in today because we got a hell of a show out tonight. A uh, Badu pussy, okay? It's going crazy. Thank you all for joining me live. I see you guys all spilling in and we got a hell of a, a, a live today. In fact, we're going to have a special guest. Um, my guy, the retro kid, Ben. If you haven't heard of him, man. The Hey. Hey, let's go, Simply MJ. Let's go. In fact, everybody, before we even get into what's going on tonight, make sure you guys share this live with all the retro nostalgia community, everybody that's getting down. I'm waving hi to everybody. I ain't that great at this live thing, so please give me the tips, all the tips that you have, all the tips that you need. You guys can hear me, right? Y'all can hear me right there. I'm coming through the sure mic. Am I coming through the mic? All right. All right. Uh, so once again, tonight... Make sure you go play 80s, 90s, and 2000 vibes. I'm actually going to invite my guy, the Retro Kid Ben, right now. Where the Retro at? Y'all bear with me. There we go. Where are you coming in? Go ahead and request your boy. Retro Kid, make sure you come and request me. Hey, Chulog19. Hey, what's up, everybody? And first of all, let me introduce myself. Once again, I'm just getting started here. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. My name is Leon Lee Boy Friars, and I'm a former All That cast member. If you guys don't remember me beating up the little blue puppet, well, shame on you. Go back and watch it right away. Uh, and, and go. I need y'all to stream my episodes because I'm hardly get any. <laughs> I'm hardly get any checks from that, y'all. I, I'm trying to get my residuals. Trying to get my residuals up. So y'all need y'all to go ahead and stream all that right now, seasons four through six, so your boy can get paid out here. You know we striking. Uh, and so I need y'all. In fact, we about to get the retro kid in here. Have y'all y'all know the retro kid been? Everybody in the chat, holla if you know. Um, he has a great YouTube page where he's just having daily. First of all, his outfits are fire. His uh, the shoes is fire, and he he just has hella relatable posts. And so I wanted to invite him on to uh to kick it with 80s, 90s, and 2000 vibes and show y'all how we do it over here. Maybe we could, you know, join forces, join the communities up. So uh everybody, tag tag retro kid in here. Where you at? Hey, this is the same thing I did to Jamar like two weeks ago. Where he at? All right, so uh but while he's while we're waiting for him to come in, if you guys don't know, Jamar, you guys don't know Tri Burrow. Do you guys know Matt Corbin, the real Matt Corbin? Have you been listening to the 80s, 90s, and 2000 Vibe podcast? I want to see uh, somebody give me a handshake, give me a wave. I see you waving. Uh, hands up. Throw an emoji. Oh, uh, yeah. I see a fist bump. Throw an emoji if you've been listening to the podcast. We dropped a, a dope one today. Uh, somebody joined. Let's see. Somebody say others joined. Angel joined. Hey, Retro Kid, where you at, man? <laughs> this is exactly the same shit that happened to me, Retro Kid. Bear with me, y'all. I'm trying to do two things at once. Oh, there you go. I see him in there, and I see the invite. Appreciate you, Retro. Let's go ahead and get the Very relatable, and this guy's just a nostalgia star when it comes to this online thing. So thank you guys for waiting for us patiently. We much appreciate it, and we're here to give you this content. What's good, Ben? There you go, man. Hey, bro, I was on live, bro, and I and I was trying to add you in at the same time. My bad, bro. Oh no, you good? You good? We still got we still got fifty people in here. We booming. We booming. Hey, let's hey, go, I, man. I see people be coming in the line. They be having five people, bro. So <laughs> we feeling good, feeling blessed. We got a hundred fifty people in here rocking with us. It's Friday night. I got the retro kid Ben in here. And if you guys don't know, we're joining forces tonight. Eighties, nineties, and two thousand five. Retro kid Ben. We're gonna get it cracking tonight. Yo, and let's, then um, <laughs> let's go get ahead, it, go bro. Ahead. Let's get it, so, man. So, to the people i know you didn't brought like a hundred people in there appreciate you what's up man what's up everybody yeah we got a couple hundred over here man hey what's going hey. on hey man we're hey, just trying to keep the numbers up you know what it is hey y'all this the bro right here y'all he was on all that man i love that show growing up man bro that show that's like one of my favorite childhood memories was nickelodeon there it go y'all yeah bro 
Yeah, and um, if, yeah. if you guys don't know, like you said, I, I was Leroy, part of Leroy and Fuzz was my main skit, my mainstay. Uh, we actually, I brought it back out, Leroy and Fuzz. I'm going to have to touch base again because of this shit that's going down with Trump and Biden right now. It's crazy. You know, Fuzz got to tap in. He's got to give y'all his two cents. But we're not here to talk politics tonight. We're here to talk nostalgia and just kick it with my guy, Ben. You know, we just going to have a little fun, nothing too serious. Make sure y'all uh, check out the podcast right now. It's out. Uh, we're, I think it's called Badu Pussy. I don't, am I supposed to say? I don't know, but um, uh, she going wild, so yeah, we're gonna be talking I, about it. <laughs> I I listened to it today, bro. It, it was it was wild, bro. It was good though. It was wild. Yeah, yeah. we get a little crazy, but yeah, you know, yeah, for yeah, uh, yeah. mature mature ears only. But Ben, to you, man, um, I want to ask you a few questions, man, because obviously things have been going well for you on Instagram. You you represent the community well, and you making people laugh on a daily. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be sitting there at my desk. I'll be like. <laughs> That stupid laugh you be having on everything. I mean, like, duh, this shit be taking me out. Where do you get this these sayings from, man? And, and where did you come with the inspiration for the page? Hey, bro, the sound is a sound that I've been using for a while, man. It's got it's like a Michael Jackson beat, and I can't remember it. It I, it came originally from TikTok somewhere, man. Mm -hmm. And I just like incorporated that. I sometimes I use other sounds, but that sound right there, it really just like. With the jokes, man, it just go hand in hand, <laughs> hand in hand together, bro. But I get inspiration from my followers on the jokes every day, bro. Yeah. I get it from all different sources. I make them up sometimes. A lot of times, people send me stuff, bro. So I'm I'm always. Hey, but you the one putting out. it together. It takes a talent for you to you the producer. You are a producer of this Instagram thing, man. So I want to give you a shout out. I don't want to, you know, reveal too much of the magic and you know pull back the curtains on what you got going on. But just know that we have we're much appreciated. We love the content. Keep it going. We're gonna be tuning in every day. We're gonna be sharing, liking, and all that. So you make sure you guys subscribe if you're from 80s, 90s, and 2000 vibes. Make sure you hop on over. And if you're coming over from Ben, make sure you come and subscribe and uh, also follow me as well. Uh, at Lee Boy TV, but you can find that later. Don't even worry about that. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> follow y'all. Follow everybody on my side. Y'all go follow the bro, man. Like I said, man, he was on the All That Show, which was like a huge part of my childhood, man. Like I used to watch All That, bro, every day. That and uh, what was the other one, bro? Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid bro? of all the Snick shows? Kenan and Kel. Uh, I mean, before my time, Clarissa explains it all. Oh. Uh, what else was on there? Bro, Everything Nickelodeon, man. Bro, Nickelodeon was lit, bro. Nickelodeon uh, was I, lit. I, I can't yeah. remember if Doug Funny was on there or not, bro. I think it was, man. Was oh, Doug yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, Doug was on yeah, there, bro. bro. Don't, you, don't you ever give Disney the credit for bro, Doug. You know Doug, Doug, Doug was lit, man. Doug, it, it was between Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Them two right there were, were, had me lit, bro, as a kid. Bro. Hey, hands up in the chat. If you remember uh, Doug, I need more allowance, mm -hmm. your delay. <laughs> that was the joint right Hey, there. and a lot, a lot of people sleep on this show right here, bro. You remember the, uh, P and P? Hell yeah, hey, man. Bro, that was me. That <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, I'm from the Nickelodeon family, so I have to know about these things. But even you have to. That, uh, Danny Tamborelli is one of my, you know, best best friends from that time he actually taught me bass guitar way back in the day so i definitely have a you know a close relationship with pete and pete and all that but oh, um let's get into the real reason. that's dope oh, well, you know he was on all that for a couple years yeah the he little, was yeah, yeah, the little yeah, yeah he was the little piece. So he was able to bounce around Nickelodeon. He had a real great career in Nickelodeon. And, uh, you know, he was like a big brother to me, definitely, on the show. Definitely. Definitely. So, yeah. You ever want to meet Danny Tamberelli? That's somebody I can easily connect you with versus Keenan. Keenan and Kel hard to catch up with now. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. Danny, that's, we got to get slide. him on the podcast, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So shout out to Keenan and Kel and shout out to the Duke Good Burger Project. Uh, Keenan and Kel were on my last podcast, uh, Venture, the Prime Nostalgia Podcast. Of course, we want to have them on 80s, 90s, and 2000 vibes. Right now, we're not so guest-based. You know, we love to create uh, content with others. Uh, you know, we just rip. You, you hear how we get down. We can't invite everybody to that circle quite yet. I think you might be ready, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But, man, I want to just uh, kick it with you. In fact, before we even get started, we'll do a quick interview. I want people to understand and get to know you a little bit better. And then also, you know, I want to show my interview skills a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'll be coming out here. But um, you got an event coming up tomorrow in Atlanta. Tell so people what, what you got going on. Yeah, so t so I'm in Georgia. A lot of, a lot of people already know that. So tomorrow in Atlanta, man, we got sneaker con. It's gonna be huge, man. So if y'all sneaker heads out there, y'all in the area, y'all need to pull up. 
tomorrow from like 12 to 7 in Atlanta, sneak the con. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be at the Cobb Galleria, y'all. Y'all got to pull up. I'm going to be up there doing meet and greets. They're going to be doing giveaways. It's going to be lit, man. So, yeah. yeah. That's going to be a yeah. big event for me, bro. This is like my first official meet and greet with my fans. Okay. So I was going to ask you that. I was going to ask you that. Have you been to a sneaker con before, though? I haven't, bro. This is my first one, bro. This is yeah, my first I'll one, be, man. You so. seen how I was going down? They be trading them thousand, two thousand dollars shoes. They better hook you up with some snakes, bro. I know you like. Oh, you snakes. already know, man. They gonna do something for me, bro. They already threw some passes my way. It was like, hey, pull up. So I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> all right, do you have a favorite pair of sneaks in your out of your retro catalog right now? Oh man, yeah, bro. It's hard to pick, man. 1 through 14, Air Jordan 1 through 14. I, those have always been my go-tos, man. Yeah, everyone that's on the back of the Jordan card, I love every single one mm, of those. Um, hey, spoken like a real yeah. retro kid, man. Yeah. Those damn Jordan cards, man. And then they had the big number, whatever one you had was on the front. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, 1 through 14 was hot. Around 15... That's when it kind of fell off. Is that the box when they came with the box, the 15s? I think the 15s or the 16s. One of them came with a suitcase, bro. Yeah, that suitcase. That. Um, yeah. And they, they are all right. It was cool. It was just like they was charging 200 back then. I was like, y'all, y'all gassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but my favorite, bro, is probably, it's, I love, I love all of them, man. But probably the, like the Carmine Sixes, man. That's just one of those pairs that I really like, man. And the, uh, of course, the ones, man. The 85s. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. One's um, just killing. And, look, it's, it's kind of hard to see what's going on in the chat. People booming. Y'all just keep the, keep the comments yeah, coming. Man. We appreciate you. We're going to go ahead and we'll make sure that we record this and we'll try to tap in with you guys after. I see someone talking about Warrior Jordans when they started tripping. The uh, checker boys, yeah. The, also, the Bread 11s, man. Those are always going to be one of my favorites. The Bread 11s. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean. I'm, I'm on them cool gray 11s. I love the cool. I, of course, the Breads. All the 11s, actually. No, I, I think the 11s might be my favorite Jordan. Um, it's hard to say. Definitely like the ones, although I think that got more popular recently. Back in the day, you know, the 11s. In fact, the 11, 12, 13 is when it really went crazy. The 13s go, go so crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And bro. you be rocking those with the all that tee. I got oh, so bro, sick. yeah. I, you know what? I don't know why I didn't wear my all that tee tonight. I, <laughs> I didn't wear it either. <laughs> yeah, you I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so that's a, actually that that shirt came from a company that sponsors me, bro. They're called Dumb Good, man. Y'all go check them out. The link's in my bio, man. They got all kind of dope retro clothing, man. So, yeah, well, I've got yeah. a couple of, couple of all that shirts, man. Oh, I you had the black one, the yellow. In fact, done good. I like it, boy. You know, I need a little bit fresher look because, uh, you know, I'll, I'll buy a, all that tea from pretty much anywhere. But uh, the the way they fitting over at Dumb Good, I like the how it's going down over there. So yeah. I might have to holler at him. Yeah, yeah, y'all got to go check them out. The discount code is Ben twenty. Links in my bio. Yo. There you go. go check it so, out. There you go. Make sure you holler at Ben. And then in the background right now, first of all, we love the room, bro. We love the decor. It's, you can definitely check it out on Instagram if you want to see it in more detail. But I see a dope ass arcade game. What's what you got back there? Yeah, so this, so this, so the my other, I got my game room upstairs. Oh wait, this, bro, this, this is ain't like, even the game room. Wait, this ain't even. No, the game. This, it's the play this play is room. My, <laughs> no, bro, this this is downstairs, bro. The game room upstairs. So like, yeah, this is where I do a lot of my lives and stuff. But yeah, so that's Final Fight back there, bro. I collect anything, bro, from my childhood, 80s and 90s, bro. I'm talking about, I don't know if you remember Street Sharks, bro, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bro. I mean, just a little bit of everything, bro, like all the hard-to-find stuff, man. Hey, so, Street yeah, Sharks, they tried it, right? They was trying to get that Ninja Turtle bag, bro. They was trying to, man, but they, bro, they're, yeah, they dope, man. They hard they to come booming. right now. Street Sharks was booming, bro. They did it. I, I love some Street Sharks. Yeah, sure. and what's his name? Used to do the, um commercials for the toys man vin diesel you remember that bro no, hell no for real <laughs> yeah he I did know that he must have looked different what what race did he look like back then because you know <laughs> people don't know if he's black he white uh middle eastern what is that guy uh, <laughs> don't matter yeah. but somebody, um, uh, somebody said i miss donkey kong yo i'm glad y'all said that because we're gonna talk video games tonight too man yeah um yeah. yeah yeah donkey kong was one of my favorites on the super nintendo man i love donkey kong man. Don Keep calm country, um, especially when you got to the cart level. Remember that cart level? You had to jump, jump, jump. Hey, I was, hey, I'm, I'm kind of good at that. I ain't gonna lie. I For real? Right, 
I'm I'm pretty decent because right now I just bought an emulator not too long ago. It got all the games on there. I have two small kids. I definitely had to show them Donkey Kong Country, and they was uh, they were surprised when I finally. It took it take a while to beat that stage, but when they beat it, they was like, Ah, oh, God, beat it! I'm like, Man, don't be fronting on me, man. I'm I'm something like a video game master out here. Used to be anyway. Anyway, bro, <laughs> bro, back in the day, bro, back in the '90s, bro, the games was just on a different level. And what's crazy, I got kids too, bro, and they. They all they like all the new stuff, man. You know, they be on the Switch and the Xbox. But I like all that stuff too. But bro, I'm really dedicated to this retro lifestyle, man. Like, bro, I I be playing I still be playing all that stuff, man. Like Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, all that. Hey, the Dreamcast, yeah, that was definitely a great era too. I remember the Iverson cover, 2K. Um, and that's when 2K first be yeah, obviously first popped. Both the NFL and the NBA 2K was on fire, bro. On fire. And uh, I, that was like the most realistic game when it first came out. And if you think about it, that's kind of where it all began right there right. on the Dreamcast, bro. I mean, you know, like 2K and everything, bro, that's kind of – the Dreamcast is kind of how all that got started. Yeah, because I, I don't know if you remember this. You could plug it up to the internet. It had a jack in the back, right? And that was the first time you could play people online. Now, that's definitely where all that got started because there was Sega Saturn, right? You could, you could, it was like the first thing, or in Sega CD, you could pop the CD in there. So they kind of had already have revolutionized that. But Dreamcast, when you could get on the internet and body people and I could dunk on you with Iverson, he's six foot. Ugh. Bro, it was a game changer. <laughs> And Hell yeah. it Dreamcast didn't deserve to go out the way it did, man. They mm. bro, it went out bad. <laughs> but Dreamcast was dope. They, they, was yeah, so they bad. ought to bring they ought to bring some of that back. Uh but yeah, man, so get it get me into the psyche of, you know, because you said you got kids that you that you obviously still playing video games with them, so you do get you are exposed to the new games and everything. But what is it about the old games? Is it like is it the nostalgia? Does it bring you back to a happier place when you were a kid? Or do you just enjoy the games better? Bro, bro it's really all of that combined, man. It's just, bro, when I walk into my game room upstairs, bro, it feel like I just stepped back in, as a kid, bro. I mean, I got the arcade. I got all the games. And it's just like, wow, man, I can sit back and, and just sit there and chill and relax, man. That's You know, everybody got their thing they like to do, man. Some people like to sit back you know, drink a beer, watch TV. I like to chill and play the game, bro. So it brings back, like you said, uh, just fun times, man. The 90s was the best, man, in my opinion. The yeah. 90s was the best. Yeah, it just brings back a month. I, I, you know, I, I I dabble, obviously. I'm, I'm part of this 80s, 90s, 2000 vibe. Used to be on the Prime Nostalgia Podcast. I'm a staple in the 90s uh, community when it comes to television and entertainment. And so I'm always involved in it. And I just love to see the joy that it brings to people. And it's just a more positive time where everyone can let loose and just be themselves. And it wasn't so much politics involved and everything. It was just having fun, man. Bro, we was just having fun. We wasn't worrying about nothing, bro. We was outside. When we were playing the game, yeah. we was out the house, bro. We was riding, the, riding our BMX bikes, man, <laughs> all around the neighborhood. Man, like, I mean, all until the street lights came on, man. And, well, you know, that, it's just like – that remind them days are gone, I mean, that man. post you put out there. My bad to cut you off, but that remind me of that post you. Yeah, he said uh, our parents don't know how far we was really going on them bikes. They, how they gonna know? Ain't bro, no it, phones. They ain't got no trackers. We gone. They had no clue, man. We was on the other side of town, bro. And as long Getting as we trouble. came home before it got dark, man, we was good. And it's like was, now, bro. Yeah. I now my kids go outside. I got to keep an eye on. Hey, man, what y'all doing back there? Like when I was a kid, bro. It was like, hey, y'all go have fun, man. But man, like I was no just way. telling my kids, y'all could go. Y'all don't need me to go with y'all to the damn park. Leave. Go. I'll just cr look both ways when you cross the street. We good. And they was like, no, nah, dad. Somebody going to take us. Like, your mom got you all scared. And she, Come on. <laughs> take your ass to the park, man. I ain't got to go to the park with y'all. Y'all set. Well, you only seven. So I was just giving them a hard time. Yeah. But at the man. same time, I was gone at seven. Look, if you gave me the keys, I'm off. Man, seven, bro. Yeah, we was outside, yeah. bro. We was outside finding something to do, bro. Right. We went riding bikes or something, bro. We, we was, we was gonna catch a lizard, right, or something. We was chop his there, tail off. Yeah, <laughs> catch, digging in the dirt, man. Trying to find something, getting into trouble somehow, man. But yeah, bro, like you said, man, it was it was simpler times back then, bro. So it's just like I'm I'm very nostalgic, man, and it really kind of like I've been like that for years, man. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I had when I was a kid. 
I held on to, like my N64, my Game Boy, all that. I kind of kept it. And it's just like, now I can teach my kids. I can show them all this dope stuff that we grew up with, bro. So, like, I get them to watch all the old shows that we watch, bro. And they just be mesmerized, like, wow, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, shit, the shows were definitely better. I'm going to take a quick look. We're going to take a quick little break because I'm going to let everybody know that just came in. We right here with my guy, the retro kid, Ben. I am Leon Leboy Frierson, former All That cast member uh, from years, uh, well, seasons four through six. You know, the guy that was beating up the little blue puppet, running around with Amanda and Christy, Keenan, Kel, all of them. So part of the OGs, all right? But we rocking right here with the retro kid, Ben. Uh, we just talking nostalgia. We're talking video games. We didn't talk sneakers. He's going to be at Sneaker Con tomorrow in Atlanta. And then I'm urging everyone to go listen to the 80s, 90s, and 2000 Vibes podcast right now. Go pick that up. Uh, oh, definitely available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you can get your podcast. But, man, um, you brought up something important. Uh, you brought up something important. Um, and just like being able to bring your kids into our old community and just uh, letting them see what we used to what we used to look at. And then you also said that the video games that you had, that's what, look, I was just making them shit, trying to jog my memory. <laughs> you said that you actually had your Nintendo 64 from original, your Game Boy from original. So you literally kept these pieces of, it's like, you, you, these are like, um, you know, pieces of nostalgia. You kept these all these years and they still work. And they still work. And I still yeah. play them to this day, bro. That's what's and up, bro. I refuse to get rid of them, bro. I won't sell them. My kids are going to get them when I'm gone. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? But oh, you still doing these to the cartridge? Still got to do Got to, bro. Hey, now, did you hear the news that that doesn't really work? Did you see this? this yeah, 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 yeah. I don't I believe that. that. I, I, don't, I refuse to believe that, man. I refuse <laughs> to believe it. Because even when I get games from the flea market or wherever, bro, I still do that. Or you just get a little Q-tip with some, like, rubbing alcohol and get up in there and clean it, bro, before you play it. That works, too. They talk yeah, about it's... if you get a little spit in there, it's going to mess. Ain't, that ain't never mess with the game. Ain't never mess with the game. Man, that 64 I got, bro, it was it was at my parents' house in a closet with, like, all kind of stuff stacked on top of it, bro. And I pulled that joker out, plugged it up, came right on. See, nowadays, mm -hmm. games ain't going to do that, bro. But we got to talk. We got to talk N64 because that's one of the best systems. You still got that Golden Eye? I got the Gold 964, man. That's, Hell nah. That's one of the <laughs> that's one of the best, man. Golden Eye. Hell yeah. Uh, Super Smash Brothers is another one. Yeah, that was crazy. Super Smash Brothers on 64. Golden Eye was crazy. Obviously, just Mario 64, Mario Kart was on there. All those was on there. Uh, man, 64 definitely was a game changer as well when it first came out. Like hopping over what they did with obviously Nintendo and Sega. Because Sega was killing it when they had the 16-bit, and then 64, 64 came out right after that, pretty much, right? Yeah. 64, like, was just like, whoa, it was a game changer, man. I mean, they were flying off the shelves, bro. Like, and then the controller, that's what it, they had the joystick, they had the uh, triggers. That was going crazy when that first dropped. <laughs> bro, I mean, it's, it had everything on it, bro. And, and Oh, yeah, somebody said. Turok, yeah, that was the dinosaur hunt. Ooh. Yeah, 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 that was a good one. I almost forgot about that one. Hold on. Yeah, I want to read some of these comments, too. Go yeah. for it. Go for it. Somebody said, uh, Perfect Dark. That was a good one, too, man. That was kind of like, in, um, it was like, yeah, it was like a shoot, shooter game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that one, but uh, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. You're the, you the, uh, you the king of this. It was, it was, you the, it, it was, it was like, uh, yeah, it was like 007. It was like 007. Now, is there a is there a bigger king of retro? Who else do you follow in the community that I Man, need to be dude, put on? Because yeah. you, you have it locked to me as far as the outfits, as far as the content. You know, I love the comedic nature of your page. Um, and obviously, I'm into most of the things that you're in as far as uh, the gear, the, the clothes, the video games. We have a lot of the same taste. But who do you look up to in this uh, retro game? So I'm glad you asked me that, man. There's a there's a uh, couple of people actually, man. But one of oh. them, there's actually two of them on here, man. It's a dude on here, man. His actually, his name is very similar to yours, bro. He might be in my live right now. I don't know. It's lost. His is lost in the '80s and '90s. Dude named Will, man. He's up in uh, Maryland. Yo, this dude has a crazy collection. I'm talking about. I think it's in his basement. 
uh, from the videos I've seen. But this dude has literally every console and every game that's ever came out, bro, and every arcade. I mean, it's just – so, yeah, when I, when I see his collection, it makes mine look that big, bro. And I'm just like, yeah, man, I need to get on his level one day, <laughs> one day. So, like, th that just tells you, man, the collecting never stops. So I'm always adding stuff to it, man. Hell yeah, and I seen someone say remember Zelda. Of course remember Zelda. Who is that thickest thickest? Shout out to you, man. Yeah, we definitely remember Zelda. Zelda was uh, man, what? Ocarina of Time on the N64. That was a classic right there. And that look, that's the type that you get stuck on forever. <laughs> like you can play Zelda and never beat that shit. It's certain games you ain't never beat, right? Like it's like bro, God, damn, I can't finish this game. <laughs> but it, it it's so fun, man, playing that, bro. Yeah. So I said, hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Aaron, What'd look, you know, some of my posts, I, I'm kind of like the guy that I say the stuff that nobody else wants to say. <laughs> I'm that guy, man. And, you know, I've had people that get mad and other people just be like, yo, man, I love you. So I, I just keep keep it coming because it makes people's day better, man. I've had people <laughs> message me. Sorry, so I was reading one of the comments, bro. Um, no, you good, you good. And what keeps me going on this, bro, is I get messages from people, and they be like, you know, hey, they lost a loved one, mm -hmm. or they going through a tough, real tough time in their life right now. And then they see me, they, they follow my page, and it, and it helps them get through that tough time laughing. And when I see stuff like that, it just helps me. It, it, it keeps me motivated to keep pushing out that content. No, but, um, man, I, I'll second that. I'll second that because, yeah, looking at your page, it's a great page. You could just get lost. Go, you could just scroll and scroll and scroll and keep going, and, and it'll never stop. And it literally takes you to another zone. of Because uh, this nostalgia vibe gives you a, a sense of happiness, but your page doesn't just touch on nostalgia, right, or, or the retro stuff. It just touches on everyday life in comparison to how it used to be. Um, I know recently I you pinned me on one when you said give your girl $40 <laughs> No, if her if her pedicure forty dollars, give her thirty eight dollars or thirty nine dollars and ninety eight cent, and let her other girl give in the two cent that she always got. That was hilarious. Um, and then and then also one you just put on today because I'm a working man. I go to work nine to five. You said, oh, you've been late four times this week. What does that mean? That means it's Thursday. <laughs> hey man, bro, and it's it's those posts, man. It's just like, man, bro, I'm I can relate to it because I work nine to five, man. Like. And I and I know most of the world does too, man. And it's like, look, man, we need more positivity, man. We need to laugh more, man. We need more of that in this world, bro. All right, so if you work in nine to five, where do you get the time to do all this content, man? So, you bro, I have a, yeah, bro, a so double I nine to from, five. I work from home, man. Yeah, I work okay. from home. I have a I have a gig that I've been doing for years, man. That I work from home, and then. Um, well, don't put too yeah, much. Yeah, I see your business out there. No, don't no, no. Like, no oh, you supposed not, to be working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, but I do that, and then. Um, I, yeah, in between, man, I'm always working on content. So I'm always busy, man, always. And I got kids, too. So, um, yeah, I, I I find the time to, to make it happen. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, Hey, man. guys, I appreciate all the comments. I promise I'm not ignoring y'all, man. I, you I know, know we're, yeah. I me and my, me and my bro, we, we, get, we get into these convos, man, and we get, in, you know, we get deep into them. But, hey, I appreciate the, all the comments. Thank you. Yeah, the hat, hat is NWO, man. I was a wrestling fan growing up i'm sure you probably watched it too bro i know you watch wrestling a little bit, um, little bit yeah. nwl yeah 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 that that came from uh chalk line man they're a good company they they sell a lot of the old retro wrestling gear spider-man all that kind of stuff hell yeah man and i don't want to take up too much time here because first of all you're gonna have to hit the road you're going down to atlanta this guy's gonna be at sneaker con tomorrow in fact tell the people one more time what time to be there where it's gonna be at so they can check you out tomorrow in atlanta in the atl shout it. yeah for <laughs> sure so i'm in georgia i'm like two hours away from atlanta so i'm gonna be there tomorrow around 12 o'clock noon time at sneaker con y'all so y'all if y'all in the area pull up man come in get your ticket it's gonna be crazy i mean like he was saying, man, the sneaker con is just, it's insane. They're going to be doing giveaways. I mean, somebody said, the where can they get the hat? Up. Somebody want to know where they can get that hat at. So the hat, yeah, the hat is in my, the link is in my bio for Chalkline. Chalkline official. They're like the official uh, WWE uh, clothes. Like they make the clothes and stuff for them. Dope, so yeah, dope, dope. Links in my bio.
Yeah, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out my guy, Retro Kid, in Atlanta tomorrow at SneakerCon. All you got to do is Google that. You should be able to find it. If you can't do that, then just give up on life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just SneakerCon Atlanta, all right? Y'all make sure y'all get with my guy. If you're from the 80s, 90s, and 2000 vibes page, follow my guy, the Retro Kid Ben. If it's the opposite way, make sure you follow 80s, 90s, and 2000 vibes. Also follow me at Lee Boy TV. Uh, I'm going to be live on Indie1015.com on Sunday. Uh, the podcast just dropped. Make sure you listen to that tonight. We got hell of a, um, a hell of a show. In fact, we're going to be talking about the 50th um, anniversary of hip hop, the show that went down at Yankee Stadium. And we got some, some hella, we got some crazy takes on there. I had to give it to Run DMC a little bit. Just forgive me, y'all. Forgive me, Run. I know you're a reverend. I didn't mean to go too hard on you. But, <laughs> bro, I listened but, uh, to it today. It was, yeah, it, it was a good one, man. It was a good one. Hell yeah man so uh me and we appreciate you uh i'm gonna go ahead and end this y'all in fact we got so many people here i know y'all don't want it to end but guess what we're gonna have retro kid back man we ain't gonna stop right here in fact he already got another connect for me for this guy up in uh virginia we're gonna go ahead and follow that you said virginia right your friend what was his name again oh yeah yeah oh 80s. in maryland in maryland. The 80s. maryland oh yeah 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 Ross. maryland yeah I, matter of fact when i get off here bro I'm gonna send you his uh send you his page, bro, so you can check it out. In fact, you just you gave me an idea for content. I gotta go around the country and go meet up with the biggest nostalgia retro lovers. Go sit down with them, play video games, talk to them, and see bro, how, they, how they got into the community. That would be amazing. Just to visit everyone that's into the community. Hey, bro, you welcome down here anytime, bro. Hey, you already hey. know. Hey, you know, I'll be coming to Atlanta too. That's my spot. Got, so y'all check me out. Hey, we can make it happen for everybody in here, y'all. This my bro Leon right here. He was hey. on the All That show back in the 90s, y'all. I know y'all remember all that. Y'all go follow him right now, man. He cool peoples, man. He got a good podcast. Hey, bro, yeah, I don't want to hold you up, man. I appreciate you having me on the show, man. We hey, definitely yeah. got to get back on here for sure. All right, man. We're going to tap in. We're going to keep watching that content, man. Appreciate you. Peace. And, uh, man, keep doing your thing. And y'all, everybody that tuned in, much appreciation, much love. And uh, send your boy some love, a DM, comment, follow, whatever. Whatever however you want to show some love, do that. And don't play around with it, all right? Nostalgia forever, 89 to 2005, retro kid. Let's do this. We out. Much love, bro. All right, peace.